All right, let's get started with logging in or creating an account with Dewey. If you already have an account, go ahead and click Login with Twitter, or if you've created a username and password, then you can use that here. If you do not have a user already and you need to create a new one, just click Sign Up on the bottom and then Create an Account, enter your information, and you'll be good to go. I already have an account, so let me log in with that. I'm going to authorize it through Twitter. Again, you don't need to do this if you have an account that you've created already with an email uh, address and or password, go ahead and do that. If this is your first time logging in, you'll be uh, given an onboarding flow where we'll sort of walk you through what to do. I'm going to quickly just go through this for the purpose of this video. And what I want to highlight here is in the first step, we ask you to download our browser extension. The reason is our Chrome extension for Dewey is the backbone of the entire product. Without it, it's going to be really difficult for you to do much. Now, we do rely sometimes on the APIs of different social networks. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be walking through bookmarks on X or formerly Twitter. But X and Twitter has an API that is notoriously broken all the time. And so in 99.999% of cases, we're going to ask you to use our Chrome extension. So let's go through how to do that. You click the button here for download plugin now. That'll take you to the Chrome store. You'll see that I do not have it installed, so I'm going to click Add to Chrome. Okay, and then it brings me back to the onboarding flow. I'll just zoom through this. It says Import the Bookmarks. Again, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do X and Twitter bookmarks. In a separate video, I'll do Blue Sky. And as we add on more social networks, we'll have individual videos walking you through how to ingest or sync your bookmarks from that specific social media channel. So I'll click on X and Twitter. That'll take me to my bookmarks page. You see it automatically started grabbing my bookmarks. And because I don't have that many, I have 27, that didn't take too long. If you have thousands, and some of you do have thousands, maybe even tens of thousands, then it might take a few seconds to go. But just let it sort of do its thing. You'll also notice in the top here, there's a grab bookmarks button that Dewey is putting on to the site. You can also click that if you're ever unsure or if you wanna just be extra double sure that you've pulled in all your bookmarks. But basically this will just happen automatically for you. Now, we also have in our settings, which I'll show in a different video, a way to toggle on and off auto sync, but we leave it enabled, we leave it on by default so that you don't have to do anything. Once you've created your account, once you've gotten set up with the Chrome extension, and once you've done this first grabbing of bookmarks, that's it. It's just going to happen automatically from here on out. So let me go to Dewey and finish up the onboarding flow. It'll tell me to create a first folder, AI tagging assistant. We'll go through all of that in separate videos. Wonderful. Now I see that all of my bookmarks are showing up exactly as I thought they would. I can toggle the view so that I can see it by grid or by row or by list. I can uh, sort it in all different ways. So by added on date in chronological or reverse chronological order by name or by the date that it was created, that the actual bookmark was created. So that's literally it. That's how you get started with Dewey. And it's critically important, I'll say it again, to use the Chrome extension. So if you're ever unsure or if you think you did it wrong, just come back to this video, watch it again, and make sure that you've set up your account correctly with the Dewey Chrome extension.